Hey guys, so the last video I released was a little bit meme -y. Well, not even a little bit meme -y. It was, uh... <laughs> it was thick. And today, well, actually the other day, I thought, you know what? That was very meme -y. That was pretty good fun. How about instead of doing up close, in your face, crushing you with my thickness, I instead become the tree protector. Again... Soul level 135, uh, all my stats that are on the left there. And as the tree protector, it is my soul, solemn, sworn job and oath to protect this tree. How do I do that, you ask? Well, I do it with this damn fine great bow, which is awesome and kicks like a mule. And knocks everything back, even if you miss. <laughs> Not even if you miss, but you get me, it knocks things back. It's absolutely fantastic and I love it. Uh, the knockback in this game for this is just phenomenal. And I thought to myself, what if, what if I invaded people and all I did, my sole job, was to protect this tree? Well, that is the question I decided to answer. So, I decided to kit myself out and do just that. My equipment. I'm using the Golem Great Way Plus 10, and I do have a Blasphemous Blade Plus 10 as well for melee shenanigans. Although, the focus of this build is going to be knocking people off cliffs. That's actually my sole intention, is to invade and protect the tree. I'm not very good at it. Can I even miss NPCs? It's fine. I'll get there. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. It worked on people. That's all that matters. I'm using the Okina mask for the plus three dexterity that it grants me. And the rest of my outfit is the black knife armor, so I'm a uh, complete stealthy assassin boy and make no noise while moving. You don't require the whole set to use it. Just one piece will do it. Um, but I've decided to go all of it for equipment load reasons. So we have the Arrow's Reach Talisman I'm using for increased bow range, which does work on the Great Bow. I'm using the Arrow Sting Talisman for more attack power, even though I'm really just going for the body to knock people off. I'm using the Furled Fingers Trick Mirror so that I look like the host. The main reason for this is when I invade someone, you have the Red Spirit Invader Stain. But if you use this talisman, well, that will disappear and you uh, retain your normal look, which is a lot harder to spot. So that's why I want. And uh, most importantly, for this to work, I'm using the Concealing Veil, which is a talisman that says as long as you're crouching, you will be hidden from your foes. And the range on this crouch invisibility, this crouch stealth, is actually pretty good. And I found that I can stalk people on these branches and then I can wait for them. And you can even aim and even while you're aiming, you're still crouched. The only time you stand up is when you're about to fire. That's when you stand up. Otherwise, completely crouched. So if you're aiming, you stay crouched. So really, you can aim someone up, and then when you're ready to fire, you stand and you shoot them. It's that simple. Uh, a headshot will do critical damage, of course, and stagger the opponent. But what I really want to do, even easier, is just aim for the body, because body shots knock back. And my entire job is to stalk them on these tree branches and knock people off cliffs. It's fantastic. It's a really good time. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, the arrows that I'm using, by the way, are the Radan Spear Great Arrows and the just regular Great Arrows. The regular Great Arrows don't make, don't reveal your position when you fire because they're just a regular arrow. Um, they also travel a bit slower. The Radan's Arrows, by the way, uh, they obviously have this big purple glowing bolt. It kind of shows where you are. However, they travel significantly quicker. So if I'm going to shoot my great arrow there, it's kind of slow. The Radan's arrow though, watch, a lot quicker. It arrives at your target significantly faster. So as a result, that's kind of what you want to do. I'm using the Radan's arrow if I know they're not going to spot me, and I'm using the great arrow if I think maybe they're going to look. And uh, my whole idea is to shoot people off cliffs, and then if I get spotted, just to re just relocate. That's it. That's the build. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to knock some people off cliffs. Uh, it wasn't all bow shenanigans. It sometimes came down to fisticuffs, but most of the time, bow shenanigans. And uh, yeah, hey. hope you enjoy. Hey. Bum, 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 bum. Oh shit. Okay. Well, um, okay. Oh no. Boys, we're not doing this already, are we? Stand still. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye! It's been fun. It's been great. It's been great. Uh, it was great. Cool. Sick. Awesome. <laughs> them off, much like I am. Cool. What? Did he move? He finally moved. Goodbye! <laughs> it was just a matter of time! <laughs> no! Yes! I got it with the arrow! Fuck you, yeah, boys! Oh!
I knew that was perfect with the roll catch. <laughs> Get fucked. I'm not impatient, I am a very patient man. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, goodbye. I don't know, it's me. What? Okay. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. This is very annoying. What if they panic roll? Let's see, shall we? Never mind. They do worse. They panic jump. I think we just go down and kill him. Goodbye! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Great success! <laughs> yes!